Boom shakalaka, really bad news for the markets. Can Bitcoin survive? Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of our interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why it looks really, really bad for the markets. But can Bitcoin survive despite this? Before we get into it, guys, Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Today, fear and greed at 50. I expect by tomorrow it'll be back into fear. The overall market's down 4% today. Bitcoin at 22,429. Ethereum at 15,72. BNB at 291. XRP 36 cents. Cardano 33 cents. Polygon dollar 17. And Dogecoin 7 cents. Bitcoin right now dropping below this yellow line. We were talking about this possibility yesterday. Had the last two times we had a golden cross of the yellow and or excuse me, golden cross of the orange and the green line. Bitcoin price actually dropped below the yellow line all the way down to the green line right now around $20,000. That is a very possible scenario for Bitcoin. Despite that, Bitcoin has been range bound in this box for almost a full year now. I would say 75% of the year at this point. So that being said, what's going on in the markets? Why does it look so bad? Well, the bear market is not over. If we take a look at the bear market macro index spread, these levels on the bear market macro index spread have marked major tops in the market. 1973, 1990, 2000, 2008, and today not looking good. Turns out this was a fake out. It was heading up, shot back down, but all the way so quickly came all the way back up. Pair that with valuations not looking attractive on the S&P's composite index trailing 10-year nominal earnings yield. Long-term investors should not touch the market with a 10-foot pole. Current valuations have marked iconic tops in the market in 1929, 1968, 1999, and today, all of these suggesting market tops. Can Bitcoin survive? Well, things are looking not bad for Bitcoin at the moment, despite going down 4% yesterday. We just had the first monthly close above the 10 MA line. Now, granted, Bitcoin's only been around for not that long. However, the last few times this happened, 2015, 2019, signaled the start of a new bull run for Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin hasn't been through a recession yet, but if things are to hold, this could look good for Bitcoin. However, maybe 2022 was just a year of opportunity. Maybe 2022 was a year of something looking really bad for Bitcoin, like things continuing downwards. Nobody will know until things start turning around. Right now, another great signal that can underlie the start of a new bull run. Already done a good job in 2015, back here, 2018, right here, COVID crash 2020, Bitcoin has already reclaimed this red line not far from a buy signal should that happen. Update here as soon as we get a green signal. So a lot of bullish signals for Bitcoin. Inevitable target would be the top of this Tenkin line. Don't be fooled by Bitcoin's recent long time frame price action. In previous bear markets, whenever the price reached the Tenkin line, it reached previous high projections, which right now is $50,000. Could this just be a fake out? Certainly could. If you stay tuned till the end, I'll tell you exactly why. Bitcoin's pattern with the realized price. We can see the COVID crash below the realized price was a black swan event. If Bitcoin cycle repeats, we're just getting started and the halving is just coming up soon. So we can see when it dips below the realized price and then find support above there, takes off. Dips below, find support above there, takes off. Dips below, find support above there. Could be where it's about to take off. This indicator certainly looks like it's about to take off. We just have a bullish cross of the 14 monthly SMA. Each time this has happened has been pretty much all up territory for Bitcoin. So could this be a massive fake out? It certainly could. You have to consider, I've been asking myself a lot recently, you know, back when the US printed a ton of money, and I can just show you on the chart when that was right here, okay? Back when the U.S. printed a bunch of money, look what happened a few months later with Bitcoin price. Boom, shot up $10,000 to $60,000. Well, guess what just happened? China, Japan just printed a ton of money. And actually, this is a lot steeper than back here, a lot steeper. So a few months out, could this cause all the markets to go up? Certainly. Might it not? It could. But there's other things too. You have to remember that a record 67% of Bitcoin supply hasn't moved in at least a year despite macroeconomic uncertainty. These hodlers 
are just hodling. That's two thirds of the supply has not moved. That's a lot. Pair that with the heat signature of institutional buying. Buying on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not buying Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not buying Saturday, Sunday. Does that sound like retail buying? No. So what does that mean? Well, we have the halving coming up about a year out, a year and three weeks out, a year and four weeks out, something like that. But should we head there? We could go up to $50,000 like was talked about in this previous chart right here. Okay, first stop could be $50,000. And then come back down, find some support, and then heading up to $200,000. That would be great. And then come back down, and then $90,000, and then come back down. And when it comes back down, oh, yikes, $30,000, $40,000. Not great. But this could be where Bitcoin is headed in the near future. No one can predict the future, not even me. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy, push that like button. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. Never